Hi everyone, headed out to the garden this morning on a very hot, sunny Southern California morning. Expecting triple digits today, but I've got to do some tomato plant maintenance. So we're getting out here about 7.30 a.m. Bringing you along with us. Now remember that first tomato we planted in the container garden series, five secrets to growing tomatoes in containers. Well, it needs some soil added today, added to it today. So we're gonna do that, but I also wanted to show you a little peek at the garden. We got triple digit temperatures here for the next couple of days. Everything's covered in shade cloth, which is a great way to protect your garden from the heat. So go back and watch Monday's live stream this week for some more tips on helping your garden beat the heat. So let's go over and check out the tomato. One of the secrets to growing tomatoes successfully in containers, and we covered this on the first video, so go back and watch that for all the details, is to plant your tomato seedling deep in the soil. And then add soil as the tomato grows, because wherever a tomato plant touches the soil or a tomato stem touches the soil, it sends out roots. When you have more roots, you have more tomatoes. So my little Golden Jubilee tomato is growing here in a 10 gallon smart pot under the shade cloth. Hopefully it hasn't sustained too much damage from the heat. Let's get down in here and check it out. Well, if you're like me, one of the biggest thrills of gardening is seeing your plants grow, coming out and checking them every day. It's even exciting to take the shade cloth off to see how it looks since yesterday. It is a ton bigger since that first video. Oh my gosh, look at this tomato plant. It is beautiful. It's got some leaf or some flowers. It's got a little tiny tomato developing. This is a Golden Jubilee tomato, one of my favorites, and it's from my tomato garden seed collection. So go over and check that out if you're in the need for some tomato seeds. I'm just going to remove the drip irrigation hose here because we're going to add some soil to the container. That way it gets it out of the way. And like I was saying, the tomato will send out roots from the stem. There's little teeny tiny hairs right here and that's where the roots are going to be growing out once they touch the soil. So we're going to unfold the smart pots, add the soil, but first what I want to do is prune off some leaves. Now we don't want the leaves um, underneath the new soil level as um, tomatoes are really prone to disease and whenever the leaves touch the soil, the soil can splash up and cause diseases on the leaves. So we're going to trim off these bottom stems here. And I think I might wait to trim these off here. We'll see if the soil level comes up that high. But let's just unfold the smart pots here. And that is one thing that's really handy about growing in smart pots. You can fold them down to make for a smaller container. Fold them up when you want something larger, when you want to add more soil. And we're going to put in some more potting mix. Now you remember when we planted this tomato plant, it was barely sticking out of the soil here. So it has grown a ton in about maybe about six weeks or so. So I am just going to fill it up with container with potting mix here. This is pre-moistened potting soil. That way our tomato plant will really take off. I also need to add a little cage here. The tomato has plenty of support. And ideally you wanna add your tomato cages at the time of planting, but I was actually didn't have any cages at that point. So we're gonna scout around the yard today, see if we can find one to pop in here. And that way we get our tomato plant really pumping out the veggies. Just love a homegrown fresh tomato. So let me know if you're growing tomatoes, what varieties you're growing. And if you planted them deep, like we talked about in that first because containers dry out quicker than your in-ground garden, you wanna either have them on a separate system or on a separate zone or if you're not using drip, just make sure they get watered a lot more frequently, especially during a heat wave. You might need to water them once or twice a day. So we've got the drip back in, and the top of the soil is looking just a little bit dry, so I'm gonna give it a drink here. And normally I would fertilize my tomato at this point, but I don't like to fertilize during a heat wave because that can stimulate new growth, which taxes the plant's resources more, and I don't wanna get the plant more stressed out during the heat. So I'm gonna give it a nice little drink. And then I'm gonna throw some mulch on top to help with the water evaporation. Really saves your container plants during the heat. Using shredded leaves here, I'm gonna put a couple inches on top. And this will save you a ton of time in watering your containers. You can use shredded leaves, shredded straw, wood chips, pine needles, just get something on top of that soil. 
Well, I hunted around the yard and was able to find a couple tomato cages. These are just tomato cages from the garden center. You don't want to use one tomato cage because it would be way too short for a full size tomato. So what I did here is I just inverted a second cage on top of the first, attached it with cable ties in the middle, and it works great for a really quick, simple, easy DIY cage. And that's what we're all about here is keeping it quick, simple, and inexpensive. So we're just gonna install this here over my Golden Jubilee tomato. My mouth is watering for these tomatoes right now. They are so incredibly good. One of our favorite ways to eat them is a Garden Fresh grilled cheese. And all that is is a nice thick slice of this orange Golden Jubilee. Maybe a few pieces of basil, maybe a piece of grilled chicken, some, uh, I don't know, whatever you have in the garden, some peppers, other kinds of herbs, grill it up. It is to die for. Now your homework this week is to walk around your garden, see if you have any containers that have a little bit of space in the bottom, add some soil so that those little tomato roots start growing and you'll be surprised at how many more tomatoes you'll be able to grow that way. So let me know down below if that's something you're gonna do this week, how your tomatoes are growing. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified of all of our uploads. Got a lot more videos in the Container Garden series to come. Head over to calicumgardeninghome.com, grab yourself a container garden seed collection, grow along in this series with us, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.